Five rapid advances in artificial intelligence are grabbing the attention of state lawmakers. Threats to privacy and jobs were top of mind today at a legislative hearing on the effects of AI here in Connecticut. News 8's political contributor Mike Cerulli, he joins us live with the latest from the Capitol. Mike. Hi, Catherine. Good evening, everyone from Hartford here at the state capitol. A new bill being debated that's trying to strike a balance between safety and innovation. Although with an issue as profound as artificial intelligence, that's easier said than done. We've heard so much about AI. And state lawmakers heard testimony today on a wide-ranging AI bill. Key provisions include protections against AI tools used to make explicit deepfake images and videos. Advocates outline the dangers. At least 96% of deep fakes that currently exist on the internet are non-consensual and sexually explicit. Nearly all of these feature women and girls. State Senator James Maroney said the bill he introduced targets the technology that enables much of that harmful content. Is it would prohibit a model from recklessly training on child sexual abuse material. There is agreement across the aisle on cracking down on deep fakes and protecting personal information from abuse, but the bill still provokes an age-old question. How far should government go in regulating new technology? The idea is when we have new technologies like this is not to get the government so involved that we stifle innovation, but as consumers and as citizens, our, our privacy needs to be protected. Lawmakers are also scrutinizing the threat AI poses to many jobs. The proposed bill calls for more workforce education centered on AI and incentivizes companies to invest in the technology here in Connecticut. Some experts say that AI is going to cost 85 million jobs in the next 10 years. The good news is they say AI is going to create 97 million new jobs in the next 10 years. And so net, we're going to see job growth, uh, but we need to make sure people are prepared for these new jobs. And One challenge facing lawmakers is the sheer scale of the AI question. Legislators today barely had a chance to scratch the surface on the myriad of challenges the technology poses. But for Maroney, a national leader on AI regulation, the hearing today is just one part of a much larger discussion. We definitely want to incentivize those good activities and mitigate the downside. The bill will be debated and amended in committee. They'll send it to the full legislature, and they'll decide if it gets sent to the governor's desk. Live in Hartford, Mike Cerulli, News 8.